In part one of this series on commercial speaker systems and their installation, we're going to discuss some of the unique properties of speakers that use transformers and how those transformers work with 70 volt speaker applications. On the table we have some of the products that we commonly install and sell in our jobs at Audio Acoustics. First of all, let's look at a commercial amplifier. This amplifier is very commonly used in office applications, got lots of inputs. It's a 70 volt output amplifier. And what makes that unique is that it's able to connect lots of speakers up to the power rating of the amplifier because it has a 70 volt output. We'll talk a little bit more about that. It also has 4 ohm 8 ohm, which is what you might be familiar with, but uh, what we're able to do is use the 70 volt output, connect uh, uh, multiple speakers on a ca single cable run, and be able to fulfill the needs of an office environment or other, other space that needs lots of distributed sound. Now, over to our wire. This wire is a little different than what you might be familiar with. This is called twisted pair. It's one pair of cable, 18 gauge, and you'll notice the conductors are twisted around each other. It's not that flat cable where the conductors are laying next to each other that we're looking for here. This is important in 70 volt speaker applications. Now next we have a utility speaker. It has the transformer uh, attached to the speaker. It's got multiple wires coming in here and will help you determine which wire you need to use on the, um, uh, the cable run here uh, in just a few moments. And then we have our premium speaker. It's part of a premium speaker package. It installs a little bit differently. It uses these Phoenix connectors to connect the wire in and out of the speaker. And then the transformer is built into the speaker and uh, has a lot of advantages in this one here. It also sounds really, really well. Now let's take a look at how transformers are wired when you run your speaker wire to the speaker. Let's look at how transformers are wired a little bit by using our utility speaker as an example. Utility speaker is just a speaker that is of, uh, it's a low budget type speaker. It's not meant to provide high fidelity. It's basically a speech only type speaker. Maybe some background music where the music is not necessarily the most important thing in the transmission. Now you'll notice all these different wires that we have here. Now that might be intimidating, it's really not that bad. There's a chart right here, and hopefully you can read it on the camera. The chart will show you that this particular transformer will work on a 70 volt line and also a 25 volt line. Now so let's say for instance we want to maximize the wattage output of this, or input of this speak to this speaker. What color do we use? Well, this is a five watt transformer. So our chart tells us we need to use the black, which we'll always use, it's the common, and we need to use the gray wire. And th these are the only two wires that are actually gonna be hooked up to our speaker run. Now let's say for instance, we wanna use the uh, two watt tap on this speaker. Well, we'll use uh, again, the black one, and then we'll use the green one because that's what our chart tells us we need to do. All the other wires are trimmed off to where the, the conductor is no longer exposed, and then you don't want the, the uh, wires touching each other, so a good habit we got into was uh, trimming those up, standing them up to where they're all facing up, and then wrapping a piece of electrical tape around there. Then that way they can't uh, touch each other they can't touch uh, anything metal, and then your uh, speaker line will maintain its integrity. Now let's talk about this premium speaker made by Atlas Sound. It's from their strategy series. This speaker has wire terminals that connect up here, and they connect through a Phoenix connector. Wires that come into the speaker from the amplifier go in here, and then you've got a way of taking the wires back out of the speaker that will continue the speaker line onto the next speaker. Now another thing that's nice about this one is how the taps are changed. Instead of having a whole lot of wires to pick from, you have a little uh, dial right here and you select the power levels off the speaker line that hit the voice call of the speaker by just turning this dial right here. Thank you for watching. 
part two of our series on how 70 volt speaker systems are installed, we'll be helping you determine what power setting each speaker needs to be set at.